Hi guys, I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing and I want to talk about welding, especially a strange kind called a seal weld. This right here is a structural weld. That one right there, structural weld. That one right there, structural weld. What I mean by structural is that you are actually using this to take on a load. Like this thing right here is an eyelet. However, this inside, I do have a weld bead there, but it's not for the reason that you think. Look right here, you're gonna see a gap, razor thin gap. That is nothing more than one piece of material touching another. In this particular instance though, I don't wanna have any of that edge showing so then no rust can form underneath the eyelet and cause corrosion later. So we do that just by welding a tiny little bead on the inside and that's called a seal weld. The problem is more often than not, engineers will put on a drawing, have a quarter inch weld over here and a quarter inch weld over there or a half inch weld over here. And then an additional note, seal weld everything. Okay. So you don't want a weld bead here and a weld bead there. You want a weld bead everywhere. But these have a certain size, but then the ones that you need everywhere else do not. That's one of those. It doesn't need to be a certain size it just needs to hide that edge so no water can get inside. The problem is a lot of industry drawings will not specify a size for that. And then inspectors will assume the bigger weld beads are what's intended for that watertight only weld, that seal weld. So if you are ever in the situation of specifying weld beads and specifying their size and their kind and their joint shape. And if you have the word seal weld on a drawing, do the welders a favor, put a size. Don't even call it a seal weld. Just say you need a 16th minimum weld or an eighth inch minimum weld or a three sixteenths or a quarter or whatever the weld bead size is. I don't care if it's eight inches thick. If you use the word seal weld, a lot of people are gonna make some very inconvenient assumptions that's going to lead to a lot of headache later. So in my case, that little seal valve can be bigger than a 16th. And I'm happy. Everywhere around it, that's a structurally sound weld. Needs to be a lot thicker. All right. If you're going to put that in drawing, spell it out. I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. Have a good one. I'll see you out in the desert if not my garage.